All right, here is an interesting case that I saw in my office. Uh, very, very nice uh, man who uh, got referred to me for uh, upper right side. He had some sensitivity on number three. And when I look at the x-ray, he has um, um, root canal done in the past. He doesn't remember exactly when, but he has some uh, radiolucency on number three. Um, this case was um, interesting because uh, I don't know why they could not find the um, lingual canal and treat it, but somehow they missed it and um, we went ahead and found the lingual canal and treated it. Everything looks good. He comes back, I uh, believe, about uh, a month later. And he's having some pain and um, probing on the mesial. So when I look at the x-ray, he has, uh, so first of all, a little bit of a lucency right here, and then the lucency goes all the way around the root here. And um, here's another picture of it. Uh, the lucency seems to be getting more aggressive on the mesial. Uh, so if my first impression was maybe some open contact uh, and then he's getting food stuck in there, so we went ahead and cleaned it out, and he was still having problem. And uh, so he was uh, he kept um, having problem with the tooth. So I told him, you know, it's probably uh, a uh, vertical root fracture. He had all the signs of a vertical root fracture. So I went ahead and uh, um, extracted the tooth, uh, obviously by the uh, general dentist's permission and then um, wanted to see why this tooth is having so much um, difficulty with. And when I took at the, this angle picture, I don't see any root fractures. And I took another angle, and I still don't see any root fractures on the mesial right here. And so it's kind of bizarre how fast um, the bone uh, deteriorated and uh, got infected, and it was a total um, uh, classic symptoms of a root fracture and uh, ended up uh, losing the tooth because uh, we uh, wanted to save it but he ended up losing it because uh, I'm not sure exactly if it was a root fracture but he ended up losing it so he's going to go for uh, an implant